What's going on guys? So today we're cooking again something called a cruffin. Now I have to warn you, this is not on anyone's diet menu. This is essentially croissants and cheese and butter and everything delicious. Um, so if you are on a diet, maybe just have a bite of one or just one <laughs> for lunch. But just saying, in case you're watching your calories. But I saw this on social media and I said, damn it, I have to try that. That looks amazing. And I think it might be life changing for some of you. Some of you might watch this video and then you're like, you know what? This is my thing. Now for me, this is not going to be an all the time thing because this is way too fatty. However, this would be perfect for like Thanksgiving or for Christmas, holidays, things like that, right? Special occasions, maybe someone's birthday. But anyway, a cruffin. So what it is, is a croissant muffin with a bunch of cheese and garlic and butter, which sounds delicious, doesn't it? What do you need? Well, a muffin tin, obviously. You can't make a cruffin without a muffin tin. You're going to need cheese. Uh, how much depends on you. I have three different cheeses. I have uh, sharp uh, yellow, sharp cheddar, Colby Jack, and I got some uh, mozzarella in the back. I'm not going to use all three bags, but I'm going to kind of mix them together. Read a nice little layer on the uh, croissant dough. Speaking of, you need croissant dough, right? So three tubes is going to make 12 muffins. And I just got the original here. We're basically going to roll that out into a sheet. We're going to get uh, some flavored butter going. So we have butter, uh, minced garlic. I got some Italian seasoning, and I have some uh, smoked paprika. This stuff is life-changing. This is mostly in the summertime, though. This makes everything pretty smoky, but delicious on, on meat, all kinds of stuff. So I'm making basically a compound butter or a flavored butter. So whatever flavors you like, put in your butter. If you don't want Italian seasoning, don't put it in there. If you don't like garlic, shame on you. But let's say you don't, then just don't put it in there. You could just use butter and just have cheesy butter. That'd be fine. But like I said, you know, spice this any way that you like. You know what I'm saying? Experiment. Whatever you dig, put it in there. and It'll be tastier to you. So, yeah, let me get uh, a clean surface here. Let me wash my hands and we'll get started. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. So we're going to start with our crescent dough. All right, so you want to open this. Let's see, peel here. Okay. Still here, huh? Okay, hang on. All right, this is turning into the world's biggest fail. <laughs> I keep trying to peel it, but there's pressure in here and all the dough is coming out of a hole. All right, so bear with me here. All right, I have no idea what happened there, but that did not open properly. But we got our dough out anyway. There we go. All right, so what we want to do is we want to spread this out to a sheet. All right, and I will come back once we have a sheet. All right, so this first sheet got pretty jacked just because of how it opened, but essentially you roll it out to a sheet, all right, try to pinch together all the seams because it's all going to get rolled together. We're not separating them into croissants or at least the little crescent shape. All right, then we want to get our butter. This is about a half a stick of butter. We're going to, I'm actually going to melt this in the microwave. Then we're going to season it, come back, and then spread this evenly about a third of the butter because we're doing three of these right onto here basically throw some cheese on roll it up but i'll show you the special way to roll it in just a minute all right so we got our butter which is mostly melted here i got my little languille spoon uh i got this in an odd lot so this is awesome we got a couple of these but anyway so we want to put some garlic in here i like garlic so let's do about that much all right we go with a little bit of that Italian seasoning. Again, you can use fresh parsley or something. Whatever floats your boat. A little bit of smoked paprika. Not too much. This stuff is super overpowering. That should be good. Of course, got to have salt and pepper. Pepper. From the old pepper cannon. And then some salts. Alright. So I'll mix this guy up. And we're just going to spread this on. Does not have to be an exact science. Got the baster brush. Alright. Our wonderful, fragrant butter. Which is already going on a very buttery dough. So I say this is not a healthy option. But 
the most delicious stuff in the world isn't healthy. It's just how it is. I know someone's got a comment. No, I love you know just raw carrots. It's just so good. Yeah, it's good. You know, I like a carrot from time to time, but this is no carrot. All right. So once we have our butter spread, we're gonna open our cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little bit of each. You know, you don't want it to be so overwhelming with cheese. There's such a thing as too much cheese, believe it or not. Which, I mean, it's hard to believe, but yes, it's possible. You could have so much cheese that it's gross. Alright, so there's our sharp cheddar. I'm going to go in with some Colby Jack here. And we'll end with some mozzarella. The mozzarella is going to give us that kind of stretchy cheese that we want. All right, Colby Jack is kind of mild, but then of course the uh, sharp cheddar is bringing a lot of flavor. All right, and a little mozzarella, mozzarella, right? All right, that's looking plenty cheesy. All right, so now the big part that you need to know is how to uh, to roll this up. Oh, there's the oven. By the way, preheated the oven at 350. All right, so let me kind of turn this a little bit here. Zoom in a little bit. So what you want to do is you want to roll this lengthwise. All right. Rolling this guy up. I probably should have put a little flour down or something so it didn't stick. Of course, you could do this on a non-stick surface. If you have like a silk pad or something. Whoop. See, I'm already tearing open here. So let's go the other way. Let's get this top. Alright, so this first one is quite messy. We're definitely going to get better at this as we go. But we're going to cut this in half. Alright. We're going to turn these and then we're going to cut these in half. So, um, again, <laughs> I'm doing this for the first time here. Let me back up just a little bit. Um, but the second one will be better because we really want to pinch our dough together so it doesn't separate. Like where this is separating is not supposed to work like that. But then you want to cut it this way, lengthwise. All right. So these are looking like a hot mess, but then what you want to do is you want to roll this like a cinnamon bun. And it's going to go right into the muffin tin. All right. So essentially you want this, but not as messy as this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Well, I'll probably show you a little snippet of a better one, but we're going to fill the muffin tin, throw these in the oven, 30 minutes, and they're going to come out like magic. All right, here's try number two. All right, so I pinched all the seams together better, and I opened it normally. I'm not sure what happened with that first one, but it got pretty jacked up. All right, so again, rolling it lengthwise. But in the end, you know, cheese is going to melt. It's all glue. It's all good. Doesn't have to look perfect. All right, trying to keep this tight as we roll it. It is difficult to roll. It doesn't want to just roll on itself. It's just a bunch of dry cheese. But you'll get it. Just be patient. Whenever it separates, pinch it back together as much as possible. All 
Like I said, by the time I get to the third one here, I'll be a lot better at it, but then I'll be done. That's how things work, doesn't it? Alright, so a little awkward because I'm like way off the side of the camera, but I'm going to get this cut up and I'll show what it looks like before I put it in the muffin tin. So this is quite messy, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see how it comes out. Alright, so I'm kind of, when you cut these lengthwise, you're kind of flipping them up so the cheese doesn't fall out. But as I'm doing that, I'm also kind of tucking them in. You know what I'm saying? So I'm curling it in like a cinnamon roll or something. All right, just like that. Taking the whole ball, you can get some cheese on the bottom. And putting them right into the muffin tin. And just like so. All right, makes sense. I'm just continuing that for one more roll. And uh, that's it, we're gonna throw them in the oven. So 350 for a half an hour. Uh, the video I saw uh, said to just wait until they're golden brown, so. I guess you have to kind of eyeball it, but we're going to start with a half an hour, and I'll let you know, you know, how much longer it took from there. All right, so that was actually exactly a half an hour, and they look pretty damn golden to me. So here's how it came out. Looks like a muffin. Smells like cheese. Mm, and croissant. I don't know if it's too hot to kind of pull apart here. Oh, it's hot. It's hot, <laughs> and it's melty, and it's cheesy looking. Let's see. So I kind of wanted to bite towards the top. Oh, that's hot. Hot, hot, hot. All right, but I'll go ahead and taste a little piece here. All right, a cruffin. So give me a second. I'll probably edit out the chewing. So I have to say, the flavor is phenomenal. It does come across as a little bit on the dry side, believe it or not. Um, maybe it was just that bite. I don't know. It's plenty cheesy. There's ooey gooey cheese everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's buttery. The garlic is, is uh, subtle, it's a light garlic flavor. Let me take another bite and see if maybe I just get a, a slightly cheeseless bite. We'll see, hold on. All right, never mind. It's plenty moist. <laughs> I just didn't get a lot of cheese in that first bite. Wow, it's really, really good. It's actually not as rich as you would think if you normally eat the little crescent rolls with dinner. This is just a nice kind of different way to do it. I mean, it's cheesier, it's garlicky. It's really wonderful, uh, to be honest, I mean, I would serve this with like a little marinara and rip off pieces like this and dip it in the marinara. It'd be wonderful. But there you go, a cruffin. Saw that stuff on the internet. Had to try it. I tried it. It's good. It's really good. Interesting. So anyway, there you go. Let me know if you ever had one of these or if you end up making these, what you think of it. Huge pain in the butt to, uh, to roll them up though. It was very messy. I don't know if I just didn't pinch the seams together as well as you're supposed to or what, but you know how it works. Everything always looks easier and better on the internet videos, but hey, not bad at all. But I will say again, <laughs> maybe one per person. But hey, you do you, whatever you want. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.